hey guys welcome back to my channel so today um, I will be doing some Simmons Lee's twist and showing you guys how to transition from the braid to the twist It's a highly requested video so I am doing it for you guys I hope you guys enjoy this video if you are a new subscriber please well if you are a new viewer please subscribe and if you're an old subscriber welcome so let's get into it the hair that I am going to be using is Gina Collections Expression. This is the hair that I use for all my braids. And we are using the color 1B27, which is an ombre color. So um, with this video, I didn't really speed it up. The only part I sped up is the part where I'm gripping, which I feel like I've done many videos, so you guys already know what that looked like. But for the transitioning part, I slowed it down so you guys can see what that looks like. It's not really difficult. All you want to do is just, it's three pieces of hair you have. So the biggest piece, you just want to separate into two. Put in one on your left and then one on your right. And then just twist. And I twist to the left. I know some people twist to the right. Everybody has a way of twisting. But I'm a lefty, well I was a lefty, but then growing up they made me, you know, switch up to being, using my right hand. But there are just certain things that I do that I still do as a left-handed person. So that's, it's not really difficult. I'm going to slow a couple of them down so you guys can really see what I'm doing and then how I'm doing it. So again, place your hair once you grip it. Um, I didn't really pull on her hair a lot like it's just a little bit pull to get it to be tight not a lot so don't go yanking on your client's hair she barely felt that pull um, so once you do about two or three braids you take the middle braid which has like the biggest piece add one to the left side and then the other one to the right side like so and then you twist if you twist to the left twist to the left if you twist to the right twist to the right um, I also tuck the client hair in the twist and the way I do that is I kind of the, the hair that I separate into two I put the client hair in the middle and then kind of like use the top one as a blanket and then just twist it so their hair don't show because the thing with twists is that you can't really trim around it like with box braids you can trim and you'll be cool I mean you can trim around twists but you have to be super careful because you can end up cutting um, the twist and once a little piece is cut the whole twist can end up being undone so I always want to make sure that my twists are super neat and super clean so I don't have a lot of trimming to do So the hair that you want to separate is the big piece, which should be, it's usually the middle piece. Um, that hair should be in the middle when you're separating. And it's the biggest one, because when you when you do, um, when you separate the, the braiding hair into three, you have two sides that are the same. And then you have a side that is like the biggest one. So that's the one that you want to um, separate and add one to each side. And then that will make, give you two. Sorry, that will give you two pieces instead of three. So I also know that there are going to be people in the comments talking about that's not how you do twists and blah blah blah. There are many different ways to braid in. There are many different ways to twist in. Um, you can do, well not many different, there's only two. Which is doing it the original way, which is the one that you would start off as twist and then just twist. And then there's this one. Um, when it comes to big twists, I always think that it's better to do it this way because your braids will last you longer. If it was smaller twists, then yeah, you can start it off as like small twists. And that's fine. Sorry, start it off as twists. That's fine. But when the twists are big like this, you want you want it to last because you're paying good money to get something like this. And if the braids are jumbo and starting off as twists, trust me, they're not really going to last you a long time I believe the longest it will last you is about a month and that's even pushing it so if you start it off like this it lasts you longer and a lot of my clients actually all my clients prefer I start it off like this so that they can keep it in for a good two months and some people keep it in for a longer time and then also when you tuck 
the client hair you don't have to worry about it sticking out later on because the hair is already tucked inside so you can definitely go ahead and do the twist you know starting it off as twist or you can do it like this it's all it's all up to you it's your preference it's how you like it and that's just it so please don't come at me with that's not how you do it I know there's a different technique to twist it but this is what we prefer this is what my clients like and this is what I gave them So I'm going to go ahead and slow it down one more time. See how I separated the hair into two and then I'm using the braided hair as like a blanket for the client's hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and twist. Okay, so the recent video that I posted where I was doing the parted this is the braids for that video. I just wanted to let you guys know that. If you've seen the recent video that I posted or the last video I posted doing my part, these are the braids that I did with that part. Okay, so that's about it. It's like I said, I don't really find it to be difficult, but I mean, we all learn different ways. So if this video didn't really work for you, just let me know and I will try to, I guess, do a more detailed one. But I don't know how. You guys see how I use, you know, I tuck the hair inside those two braids. Just use it as a blanket. But we are all done and I'm just going to go ahead and dip it. I really didn't have a lot of trimming to do because I made sure that it was done really right. I know some people use like gel. So if you feel like you need to use gel to make it look good, then that's up to you. And then also when you're dipping the twist, you don't want to squeeze the braid when you're drying it out. Because with twist, if you're not careful and you don't braid tight enough, when you dip it and you use a towel to kind of like squeeze out the water, the twist ends up being flat. So you really don't, it's not like, like I said, with box braids, you can squeeze it, that's fine, the water will come out. But with twist, you kind of just want to use a towel to just gently, very gently, like just get however much water you can get out. But don't squeeze the braid. Um, I see a lot of twists where like the ends look flat or like it, it just... That's because they're squeezing the braid. Just let the towel do its thing. Just use it and gently, you know, 
take the excess water out. I am done with that. So now I'm just applying some mousse. You can use any mousse that you want. It's not, there's no, like it's not that serious. You can use any mousse. I believe I use the olive oil one. And then I'm going to go ahead and just spray some oil sheen in there. And then we are done. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any more videos, I mean requests that you would like for me to do, just let me know and I will get them done. This is a video that a couple people requested, so I did it for them. So if you have any requests, just let me know. And if I can do it, I will do it. And if I cannot do it, I will let you guys know that I cannot do it. You guys know I'm really big on that. If I can do something, I'll be quick to tell you. I cannot do it so thank you so much and please 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 subscribe and turn on the notification and follow me on my Instagram I appreciate you guys so much and have a blessed day